votes, it's really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Yes, welcome to the show this week. Last week we were speaking, as you know, with Honorable um, Abdul Mumin Jibreen, and he made a lot of allegations, as it were, because I haven't spoken to the other parties. But the truth is, the reason we're doing this show is for you to understand what's driving this man that some people think you're a social activist. Are you a social activist? I'm sorry. Are you a social activist? <laughs> Well, you are behaving like I, a social activist. I, I, I got uh, a bit uh, inspired by uh, the governor of uh, uh, Kaduna State, and I tried to... The borrow, current governor yeah, of Kaduna State. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of the... Uh, my, my inspiration. I'm not uh, particularly close to him, uh, but uh, <clears throat> I like a couple of things that, I, uh, that he's done. And uh, I, I picked a word from his book, uh, uh, Accidental uh, Public Servant, and I said I'm an accidental... Uh, uh, activist, uh, and uh, I said uh, that is what I want to do for the rest of my life, uh, putting in uh, a lot of energy in the fight against corruption, with a specific, uh, with focus on uh, the House of uh, Representatives. People prefer me to say the National Assembly, but I said I'm not a senator. I've never been one, and uh, I don't want to go into a territory I do not uh, really understand. Mm -hmm. But I know that I understand the wider society. Uh, how corruption it's uh, it's done, and uh, how you can deal with corruption in the short term, medium term, and long uh, term, and using the case of the House of Representatives, using the House of Representatives as, a, as, as an a, example, as an as an example. So, in the case of the House of Representatives, for whatever it's going to cost me, the maximum penalty is my life. And if there's anything that people fear for me, it's my life. I think your family must be worried about. Oh, absolutely, they're very very worried. My family is very very worried. But but uh, but again. Somehow you will die, no matter what it is. Uh, if someone, uh, somebody kills you, he's also going to uh, die. He, he might not even live uh, as long as he the thinks. He's so I don't even want to. I don't even want young. to. I'm not afraid about uh, and, and my my uh, kids. Uh, whatsoever it's going to happen will uh, will happen. It appears to me also that you probably growing up, you always wished you were a superhero, <laughs> because what you're doing now is turning out to be like. I want to change. Even if I die, I'm telling you the truth. You're sounding like Superman. <laughs> now, uh, I've always been in the social media, but uh, this crisis actually uh, got me deeper into the social media. And I follow up a lot of things. I follow a lot of people, what they say and the rest. I peep on uh, the see things. But some, some, uh, there's a lady that wrote something. Uh, there's some there. I, I think she just wrote it randomly. I never mm -hmm. told her. Mm -hmm. I, I picked it and I kept it. Uh, because it captured me. She said, uh, it's a lady, she's a lady. She said, uh, it seems this guy has always wanted to be a hero in oh. his life. In the, in the thick of the whole uh, okay. uh, crisis. Yes, uh, you're right. I've always admired that kind of Mandela stuff. I've always wanted to be that person who liberates people. And I'm saying this with every sense of genuity. That's just what I want. I want my kids to move on the street and, oh, who are you? Um, oh. I'm son of uh, so, so Jibrin or whatever. Which of the Jibrin? This is Jibrin. And they embrace Even if everyone. you don't have money. Even if you don't have money. So I, this is the person I've always wanted to be. But because I also came from a uh, product of the establishment, and the, people find it very difficult to reconcile that. Is it true this boy could be what he is trying to make us to, to believe? But this is who I am. Those who are quite close to me understand that this is what I've always noticed. But also I came uh, from also a fairly stronger uh, background. Uh, picking a degree in, 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 in Nigeria here, yeah, a master's, uh, of course. Uh, I write politics and diplomacy to my PhD level. Then uh, did my postgraduate uh, in, uh, leadership at the Harvard. Of course, uh, and I went to the London Business School, did management. Then did my MBA at the Swiss. Uh, Were these calculated moves on your side? 
Yes, I was preparing myself. I, 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 at the same time, while I was running my business, I was still schooling um, uh, all, all the way till date. Mm -hmm. I picked my MBA at the Swiss uh, business school, and I've attended a large pool of uh, courses uh, before coming to the house. Then set up my company about a decade before coming to the to the house that uh, turns out to be uh, so, uh, so successful. And uh, if I weren't in the house of uh, representatives, uh, probably I would have been into massive production uh, uh, today. Manufacturing. Manufacturing, uh, etc. And now uh, I went into the house fairly prepared, and so my perspective was uh, different. But there are a couple of members also that their perspective it's it's different. But it's difficult to operate under that kind of atmosphere when you have about seventy five percent or eighty percent of the members. What was your perspective, or what is your perspective? Yes, uh, while I was going into the house. You, you just believe, okay, you will go and things will work out. You have people who actually believe that you have to change the country and things have to work very well. Why are you not opening this? Or uh, uh, hold your town hall uh, and meetings with your constituency, have a vibrant constituency uh, and, uh, office. And you know, you have all these uh, ideas and everything. And you just go there and you discover that it's money, 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 money. They feel pain. They're abusing me. Why is he talking like this? And But that's fact. That's why they can't come out to deny it. Can you blame members for thinking money, 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 if the populace themselves, because I always get this from members, there's a demand on you, even from the electorate. Absolutely. Now, uh, the point is that uh, Nigeria is in such a, uh, a crossroad. Now, where do you start fighting corruption? From the top? or from the uh, your bottom, because you need to analyze it properly. And that is why sometimes some of the strategies we adopt to fight corruption becomes uh, a bit uh, difficult. I do agree because of our situation, you have to fight it from uh, both ways. While I was uh, chairman of finance, I had suggested which people thought it's a bit crazy. And I keep telling them that, look, if you have such a terrible mess, you must do something crazy to be able to get it uh, uh, right. I said, OK, the AFCC, if you are arresting uh, people that steals uh, money, then when you look at the chain and the causes, maybe pressure from uh, lower people, you need to also have a law that can also deal with somebody who comes to ask a public officer for what he does not have. For instance, if you have a young man who is just a, a employee in the central bank and he earns take home pay of about 200, 250,000, then because you are a village chief from his village, you come and ask him to buy you a car of 2.5 million naira. You're asking the boy to go and steal. You should be arrested. The boy should be able to have evidence that you're asking him to buy that for you and should take it. You should be arrested. So the public will also know that even if you, are, you call yourself a masses, then you go again, you are asking a public officer what is beyond his salary is an offense. But that's just one side of it. We're talking about the bigger society. I want us to narrow it to the House of Representatives. In the case of the House of Representatives, the major reason why you see there is corruption there is because of that running cost. You keep saying that. I'll take a break at this point. We'll be right back with Honorable Jibrin, I mean, Abdul Mumin, if you don't go away. Clearly explain how this money will be disbursed. The only gap that was identified as a den was even though they provided the categories of beneficiaries, members were interested in knowing the identity of the beneficiaries. It was it was a bit impossible as at then to be able to identify the identity of the beneficiaries because the implementation has not commenced. I know that the Committee on Poverty... Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I need your protection. Mr. Speaker, I need your protection. Order, please. Order. Honorable members. Oh. Honorable members, please. Please allow, allow him to round up his debate, please. Silence, please. Allow him to Silence, round please. up his debate. I know that we have the legal framework right in this house. Nobody should play politics with that intervention. The government has a good intention. It should be allowed. We should not play politics with it. 
The framework is right in the House of Representatives, and it is right here. Please, honorable colleagues, honorable colleagues, this program should not be used for politics. It is not politics. This government has a good intention, and it should be allowed to implement it. Yes, that obviously proves that, I mean, my guest has always spoken out, right? And I wonder, though, where were you when you heard that you had resigned and fired? I know which it is now, what I, you know, you were waiting for 10 p.m., but it was announced, obviously, at 9 o'clock news. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we were in the chamber. Uh, of course, I told you we were in the chamber. I went up to tell him that um, I, I, I have said to you that I want to go. And he said, uh, please, uh, allow me to be. Uh, let's talk by 10 o'clock. So I left the chamber. Uh, and I think they had a, I heard that there was a lot of discussion between himself, uh, Leo Ogo, Alassane Dogua. They were all discussing how to die. And I think they decided that, look, this guy is determined to leave. And if he leaves, he will start uh, exposing what is going on here. So the best way to go about it is to say uh, that we've taken a decision already to, to sack him so that we can create a really problem for him. So I was seated in my office, and one of my legislative aides uh, walks in and said to me that uh, the speaker uh, announced that uh, uh, you've resigned. Because he said I resigned, then he said they fired me. So the young man had resigned. So, <clears throat> and uh, it was later on in the evening, I had the full... Uh, uh, what did you do when he told you that? Did you try to go back and... No, 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 of course, why do I need to uh, Just go back? To I've already uh, made up my mind that I, I was uh, going. After all, I already had an office before going to the, uh, <laughs> to the, uh, to the, the, uh, to the house. So what I did from that uh, place, I, I just addressed the press, and uh, from there, I uh, went to my uh, private, uh, private office. You told us earlier that what's most important to you is not necessarily to bring one leader down or one person down, but to ensure that the issue of the running costs of the house is addressed because it creates room for corruption. Um, I know that uh, if uh, Dogara is going to accuse me of everything, he will not say Jibrin is not, uh, is not moderately smart or intelligent. Not too smart or too intelligent. I'm not. I'm an average person. He will at least credit me with a minimum intelligence. And so if I want, if solely my focus is to get Dugara out, I will never raise the running cost issue. Because in the whole House of Representatives, 90% of members are in agreement with me on every other issue except running costs. Yes. You can prove that? You. Yes, absolutely. They know that there's been budget fraud. They know that Dogara took their 40 billion. They know that Dogara uh, inserted 20 and La Sundo, Gua, and Leogo, 20 billion of waste, uh, waste food projects. They know that Dogara tried to force me to insert 30 uh, billion of our fraudulent projects. They know that about 10 community chairmen connive with these four principal officers to insert about 2,000 projects, what, 284 billion. And they agree with they you know that They know that Dogara diverted projects to his farm. They know that Dogara tried to scam the house with a uh, fraudulent mortgage system. They know that Dogara has refused to, to distribute copies of the internal budget of the house. Now I have said this thing for about four months, that if there is a member who has a copy of the internal budget of the house, he should present it four months just to even leak it to the press. Why, why has it been? Everything can be leaked to the press. Why has it been that the internal budget of the house could not be leaked to the press? He's holding on it. So all these allegations are fact, and they're so angry. But now, look. I said to myself, after I left the office, I said, I'm liberated. And Abdul, you're going to be 40. And suddenly I said, oh, this is what you've been looking for. So you're free. Open up. And so we sat with them. We've had several conversations with them. And they said, look. What do you mean by them? Yeah, well, of course, Members different, of the different groups. Mm -hmm. uh, the different groups, you know, the house are different groups. Mm -hmm. then the, the, all of them were very angry. You can remember during the when we were on recess, a lot of groups were talking about everything. They do not agree. You, if you notice, everybody is kept quiet. Because what the clear issue is, okay, look, the running course involves uh, everyone. So please don't touch or involves most members of the house. So don't touch the running cost issue. Let's go and deal with uh, uh, Dogara. I said, yes, I want Dogara to face the law. But again, this is one of the best opportunity I have to do what I've always wanted to do, to expose corruption in the house and force reforms. And the biggest reform, one of the most important reforms, is that uh, running cost that is being stolen. So, 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 so if we deal with budget fraud and isolate 
the other uh, issues that has to do with uh, uh, systemic corruption, which is a running cause, we've only dealt with, we've, we've only uh, dealt with just about 20% of corruption in the house and left 80. Mm -hmm. 